Welcome to my channel. Pregnancy is a blessing from Allah. During the nine-month journey of pregnancy, a mother's body undergoes several changes. Sometimes, both the unborn child and the mother face various complications. To mitigate these complications, some basic tests are necessary during pregnancy. These tests can protect the mother and child from different health risks. Doctors often recommend certain tests during pregnancy, but doubts may arise about whether all these tests are truly necessary. In today's video, I'll discuss which tests every expecting mother should undergo during pregnancy. Let's get started. The entire period of pregnancy is divided into three parts. 1. First trimester. This covers the first 1 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. 2. Second trimester. This covers 13 to 26 weeks of pregnancy. 3. Third trimester. This is the period after the 27th weeks of pregnancy. During these phases, mothers need specific tests. First, let's go over the essential tests for the first trimester. First trimester. After missing a period, when a urine test is performed, a positive result will confirm pregnancy. Following a positive urine test, it is important to consult a doctor and consider the following tests. 1. Ultrasound, USG after conception, the embryo usually attaches to the mother's uterus. However, sometimes the embryo attaches outside the uterus, a condition called an ectopic pregnancy. An ultrasound in the first trimester is essential to detect ectopic pregnancies because, if left untreated, it can lead to serious consequences, including the mother's death. Additionally, the baby's heartbeat typically starts within 12 weeks. If, for some reason, the heartbeat is absent, a miscarriage may need to be performed. Therefore, an ultrasound is crucial during this time to check for the baby's heartbeat. 2. CBC, complete blood count This test checks various blood components in the mother's body, with a primary focus on hemoglobin levels. If hemoglobin is low, the baby may face issues in brain and spinal cord development. Therefore, it's important to ensure the mother has an adequate hemoglobin level. 3. HBSAG test. This test screens for hepatitis viruses. If the mother carries a hepatitis virus during pregnancy, it can cause serious complications for the baby. So, this test is crucial during pregnancy. 4. Urine for IME. This urine test checks for infections and the presence of proteins, sugar, etc., in the mother's urine. Urinary infections during pregnancy can hinder the baby's growth, cause infection in the amniotic fluid, and increase the risk of premature delivery or water breakage. 5. Blood grouping. Knowing the blood group of the mother is very important, as she may need a blood transfusion at any point. Additionally, mothers with a negative blood group need specific precautions after delivery. If the blood group is unknown, it should be tested. These are the essential tests for the first trimester, but your doctor may recommend other tests based on your overall health. Second trimester. In the second trimester, especially between weeks 20 to 25, certain tests are necessary. 1. Anomaly scan. This ultrasound checks for any congenital disabilities in the baby's organs, which develop during this period. 2. RBS, random blood sugar. This test checks for diabetes, as the risk of gestational diabetes increases during this time. If the mother has diabetes, it could lead to complications for the baby. 3. TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. This test checks thyroid hormone levels, which are crucial during pregnancy. Thyroid issues can lead to developmental defects in the baby or even miscarriage. These are the basic tests recommended for every mother during pregnancy, although your doctor may suggest additional tests based on individual health needs. Third trimester, the final three months of pregnancy are very important, as both the mother and baby experience weight gain, and the baby's position for delivery is determined. During this time, these tests are essential. 1. CBC. Complete blood count. This test should be repeated to ensure sufficient blood levels, as delivery may require a blood transfusion. 
Knowing in advance helps prepare for any blood needs during delivery. 2. RBS, random blood sugar Another diabetes test is essential as the risk of gestational diabetes remains high. High blood sugar may lead to excessive baby weight, complicating a normal delivery. 3. Ultrasound, USG and ultrasound between 28 and 30 weeks checks the baby's weight and the position of the placenta. A low-lying placenta, where the placenta is positioned low in the uterus, may lead to bleeding and complicate a normal delivery. 4. Urine for re, a repeat urine test checks for infection risk, which is common in late pregnancy and can complicate the pregnancy further. 5. Final ultrasound at 36 weeks. An ultrasound after 36 weeks assesses the baby's readiness for delivery, evaluating weight, position, and placenta positioning. It helps in deciding between a normal or caesarean delivery. Additionally, this ultrasound measures amniotic fluid levels, as either too much or too little fluid can affect a normal delivery. In the last trimester, mothers may also experience swelling in the feet and high blood pressure, which can indicate preeclampsia or eclampsia, a serious condition. Regular blood pressure monitoring during this stage is essential. Following these tests during pregnancy helps ensure a safe journey for both mother and baby. I hope today's video was helpful for you. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel to get health advice, health awareness, and reproductive health-related videos. And remember to become a member of our family. Thank you for watching this video.